Hello friends, how are you? Uh, welcome to my channel, The Network Expert. First of all, subscribe to my channel for skill development and success. Okay. Today our topic is how to telnet the router in ENSP simulator HDNA. Okay. For that, you must know that you should add a loopback interface in a computer. First of all, the first step is okay how to add a loop back interface in a computer for so that you will have to go uh, okay you will have to go uh, into the search you can write run okay but I'm going to tell you one more thing I'm going to tell you a shortcut to that you, pr you press window window button and plus R, R and you can just run it and you can write it over there you write it H D W W I Z dot E X E. You can see it in the Windows to add a new back interface on a computer. Okay, that will open. That will generate a hardware wizard. It says welcome to add hardware wizard. Okay, you can go next, and then you should select install the hardware that I manually select from a list okay you go next and then you go to their their list of hardware types you must select a network adapter a network adapter where is it you can go and press N network adapters network adapters okay you press next and then after a while it will take some time and it will show you all the all the hardware devices that you can install okay you go into the manufacturer of microsoft then various micro there are various manufacturers that are being used in your computer okay then you go uh, to the microsoft and then there's microsoft km test loopback adapter okay then you go next and then uh, you press next and it will install into your device because I have added because I have added it so I'm not going to do that okay I'm going to press cancel and you can do that okay okay now you've chosen loopback adapter install from list to loopback adapter network adapter loopback adapter then you gotta go into the control panel I can write control panel over here or I can go and press Windows R and write NCPA NCPA dot CPL wait a second NCPA see NCPA dot CPL it will open the control panel for me okay. see I've added this loopback adapter okay I will go into the properties and first of all you should disable all of the other uh, other interfaces that you're using uh, I have disconnected this, this, not the VMware of course, but others, Wi Fi and local Ethernet connection because it will send traffic to them otherwise. Okay, uh, go to the ENSP, go into its properties and uh, go to IP version 4 and you can assign an IP address, any of the IP address you want. I can assign uh, 192.168.1. Uh, 2 okay 1.20 any IP okay 1.2 and the gateway is not necessary right now okay but the gateway will be 192.168.1.1 okay okay now we've given the loop back an IP now what you gotta do is you gotta you gotta restart your computer you gotta restart your computer okay otherwise it will not show in the ENSP in the ENSP it will not show the interface that you the loop back interface that you've just added I will show you right now I hope you restarted your computer okay now open ENSP and you go to the new topology you add a cloud other devices a cloud in it okay 
Okay. Now we will add first of all I rename it my real computer to my Windows computer. My Windows computer. Okay. <laughs> but I will write my real Windows computer. It doesn't look nice. It nice. My real Windows computer. Okay. Now you gotta go into the config of the Windows computer, and you gotta go into the into the loopback. I have a uh, loopback 192.168.1.2 ENSP. Okay. You put click on it and it will add port type the, the more speed you want I would go with Ethernet okay and put add in it you can go with gigabit Ethernet gigabit Ethernet serial POS E1 ATM anyone you want I would go with Ethernet okay and you gotta select it again loop back okay go add see you've added the loop back now the second step is the second step is you add the router because you have to connect to the router too you are adding the binding info in the cloud in the computer so you gotta add a UDP port okay for Ethernet you can add it either the router interface will also be Ethernet okay and you've done and you gotta go add it Ethernet to port number two for the port number one we have the loopback interface configured and the for uh, port number two we have the router uh, I will show you right now and the second step is you gotta map the port with it otherwise it will not work okay Ethernet local port number one and remote port number is two see remote port number is two the, for the router it is the port number two and two-way channel okay this two-way okay and we add it okay our work over here is done now we put a router uh, I will put a generic router and connect and uh, connect it with a see Ethernet 002 Ethernet 002 and Ethernet 000 okay now you gotta on the devices hmm. now you go on the devices it will take some time okay we on the device you will click on the router can you see it well I just okay the router is getting on just wait in a second okay now this is the user mode we will go into the mode by system view administrative mode okay now we will say that ethernet 00, zero ethernet 000 ethernet 000 is the interface connected with the our computer okay interface ethernet 0000 okay when interface ethernet 000 we can assign an ip ip address 192.168.1.1 and there are two uh i the two uh, ways that you can assign a mask okay one is that you can write 24 over here and it will take it okay and second is you can write the usual way 255255255 that is very 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 old now and you gotta undo shut down okay it is not shut down okay now you gotta go end or uh, quit see okay now you can show uh, show for sure you can write display display IP interface brief okay now we can see that Ethernet 00 has 192.168.1.1 and it is up okay and it is up yes it is up protocol physically it is up okay no problems over there uh, okay and our computer now we will open our cm uh, our computer's uh, cmd okay window r right cmd okay 
I've opened my computer and it says Amir Hamza. My name is Amir Hamza. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Okay. Now we can first of all we can do IP config to see the computer's IP. Uh, see. 192.168.1.2 is a computer's IP in its mask and the default gateway is 1.1 you can assign the gateway okay. uh, now you get a ping from your computer 192.168.1.1 see it is pinging hope you can see it well it is pinging okay. okay our steps here are done now you gotta go and add telnet Lnet 192.168.1.1 It will not 1.1 uh, uh, It says wa warning but because we have not uh, configured our router But one thing more if it does not tell net and it says that it this command is not recognized You gotta go you gotta go into the windows features that I will show you right now because uh, many people have Concern me with it, so I will go into the window uh, window and write turn windows features on or off features. See, it has come windows features on and off. It will generate a window with all the features that I have not. We will go into the TFTP client that I have. Oh, sorry, TFTP need telnet client. Telnet client. See, I have owned it. You can off it. Your yours will be off, so you have to own it. TFTP, multi point RAS, message message queue, okay, and others. Let's see. Okay, the all of them. Uh, SNMP. Okay, all of them. I I hope you understand this one you gotta on this telnet then you will be able uh, to to telnet from your computer but it says it is not because we are we haven't configured our router okay first you gotta go telnet telnet server enable okay you gotta enable the telnet server okay you have enabled it now you got to go user interface user interface VTY VTY 0 to 4 maximum VTY users are 5 in Huawei in uh, Cisco it is 181 ok VTY they are not needed though ok so VTY you got to go user authentication you can do a, lo a lot of things authentication Authentication mode, okay. Authentication mode none. I'm not putting any password right now. You can put password and whatever you want. You can go and write password, okay. Because I'm not uh, teaching you right now SSH and Telnet. When I will teach you SSH and Telnet, the comparison between them, then I will show you what is uh, uh, how to put password and uh, the how to put encryption onto them and. Vagera Vagera. Okay. Authentication mode none. Okay. None. And there is one more thing a privilege level set. Set authentication password. No, 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 no. This is one of the things. Uh, protocol return. Actually. Uh, I will go screen length 12 okay I will go question mark set the parameters of you gotta go and put the privilege level command uh, for privilege level you gotta go and uh, put hmm, you gotta go 
idle time out you can put idle time out over here you can see idle time out over here set a time out period for a terminal because uh, by default it will uh, take i guess times uh, uh, time out if you want to set 5 minutes if a user is not using your telnet okay router Hmm. Well, let's see. Is it? Uh, is it? Can we log in? Tell net one eighty one six one eight one. Okay, we can log in. See, it is very easy. Try it yourself. Okay. Uh, we did. We just did in the router authentication mode. Uh, wait a second. Authentication mode. Authentication mode none. See. Okay? and we are in the Huawei see it is saying user level we want to go into the privilege level then we can set privilege level command okay that was uh, uh, that was uh, I was finding so okay I hope you understood it uh, try it yourself okay it is very 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 important that uh, you sh must be able to tell it devices and uh, add a loopback interface and program features on or off okay it is very important so for the feedback please it is very necessary for you to give your feedback because uh, then I then uh, I can appreciate myself and then I can people are people are uh, you know interaction is very necessary interaction is very necessary so please give me your feedback uh, and uh, the, la the question I always ask you so did you understand the lecture please give me feedback about it okay for online CCNA, SCNA, SCN, CCNP, CCIE, SCNP, SCIE classes or for any queries you can whatsapp or skype me at 033580922218 or email me at hamwer52 at the rate of gmail.com and to work on real routers in Switchill, you can come visit us at Syscom, the world of possibilities, the travel pindi, and www.syscom.pk. You can visit our website and uh, subscribe for skill development and success. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.